You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. Joining us right now is Susan Taylor, founder of National Cares Mentoring Project. Susan, uh, we were just playing uh, that tribute uh, to Cicely Tyson, uh, where uh, she uh, she said, "I didn't mean to preach, uh, but she certainly had a word to say uh, to the young ladies there." Can you hear me? I can hear you, Susan. I can hear you. Oh yes, it's a it's a challenging moment. Uh, did we lose Susan? Okay, all right. So, guys, uh, if we can get her back, please. Uh, that'll be great. Um, please let me know. Uh, we have, once we have her back. Uh, just the other day, Susan Taylor turned 75. Uh, and again, um, you, 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 you talk about, uh, someone who, tremendous impact. Uh, on anybody in Hollywood. Uh, we have Susan Taylor back. Okay, Susan, go right ahead. I was just saying that, you know, high heels, high standards, high style, and high heels to the end. Just an extraordinary human being, a neighbor. You know, our, our parents were from sister islands, hers from Nevis, mine from St. Kitts. Um, she lived down the street from me. Just a beautiful, have dinner with her and you're going to eat grass. <laughs> she took care <laughs> of herself, you know, very, very health conscious and so very beautiful and so, and very delicate in one way, you know, uh, mm -hmm. two opposites, delicate and fierce at once. But more than anything, Roland, high standards, just the standard of excellence and holding it strong for black people and not doing anything ever, taking no role, no matter how much they would offer her, playing no part that would be demeaning of us as a people or black women ever, ever. And that's really what she stood for and spoke about all the time. And going out to her school, there's a school named for her in East Orange. And I visited there frequently with her. I think you were with us the night when her her students danced and one played the the harp. Yeah, that was that was we were actually just showing that. We were actually just showing that. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, cuz we could be also live streaming it that night, so. Yep. So this is, you know, what the truth is my heart there's a part of me that says, you know, I'm waving goodbye. She's gone and I'm glad that I didn't ever see her in a wheelchair or having had a stroke, or incapacitated in any way. The last time we were together, she was wearing heels, and I'm the one who had on flats or sneakers. <laughs> Just an incredible thing. Yeah. The, the thing that's also that I always loved, Susan, is that the reverence that folks had for her, but especially uh, Black Hollywood, um, when you talk about actresses, when they were near her, when they were just the, the ability to be able to talk to her uh, w was so important because they, they they paid the level of respect they had for her. When, when I think about Denzel and Chadwick Boseman and others, when they talk about Sidney Poitier, uh, the same way so many talk about Cicely Tyson. And deservedly so. Deservedly so. It mm -hmm. had to do with the dignity, the dignity that she brought to every role. And the first, that love scene, I know everybody's talking about that love scene in, in Sounder. I think, I don't know that ever before that we had ever seen such joy between a black man and a black woman when she's calling him, Nathan, is that you? And she's running, it gives me chills to even think about it. She's running down that road and falls, leaps, not falls, but leaps into his arms. And, you know, I want to say until the end, there was a girlishness about Cicely Tyson, a real girlishness. Oh, yeah. Oh, she she was so funny because I, I can't tell you how many times uh, when our paths crossed, uh, she would always gently touch my face. 
Uh, she would hold my hand. She would always say something uh, uh, precious. Cecily Tyson was always flirting. I used to always have fun. It was always great just to see her. And just a sweetness. And a tiny woman. You know, we I bump into her. She began traveling with this little cart. So she'd put all of her groceries in there. And she lived down the street. Her daughter lives down the street, though. She lived on the other side of the um, park. But she started staying with her daughter more frequently. And every time I saw her, I wanted to pick her up. <laughs> I would say, I want to pick you up and just hold you. I, I just, I can't even talk about her in the past tense. Can't do that. Just... You know, the, it, it's always, just the other day we lost, uh, on Friday, and he was buried yesterday, we lost Henry Aaron, passed away at the age of 86. Um, we, you know, uh, Larry King passed away the next day, and we, 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 we lament, obviously, obviously, when someone passes away, we, we certainly miss them, and we talk about w w what they meant. But that's also why, Susan, it's vital that you do something with the days that you have. Yeah. Because there's nothing worse than, frankly, passing away and no one misses you. That is not the case with Cicely Tyson. Not at all the case with Cicely Tyson. And, and look at the greats we have left. Let's honor Harry Belafonte, who That's we right. just spoke with night before last. And Sidney Poitier. It's funny, you talk about I literally just, I called Mr. B while we were actually playing the video. Uh, <sighs> and yeah, absolutely. And I, remember I, I called him last week just to, just to say, hey, I left him a voicemail just to check on. And you know, and that's what we have to do. He, he lives, well, she lived down the street and he lives around the corner. This is the Upper West Side, you know, of Manhattan. And Harry Belafonte is still just so vital and strong. And that's, that was Cicely Tyson until the end. And I'll tell you, though, we're going to miss her. I know I'm going to miss her. I am so happy that I just didn't see her daughter Marlena rolling her down the street in a, in a wheelchair. I'm glad she didn't have a stroke. I'm glad she wasn't infirmed in any way. I don't know what caused the passing. But, you know, 96 is a lot of living. That's a, a whole lot. lot. Too, you know? And we know how to... We know how to accept birth, but we don't know how to accept death. And it's a transition that we're all going to make. And so what we do is let's lift up her life. Let's hold high her standards and try to use those and remember them because that's what we need in our community. That's what we have to really sort of inculcate in our, in our young people, stand for something, stand for something more than making another dime, another dollar, have standards that really uphold not just you, but also your family and your race. She was a race woman, a race woman just to the core. Susan Taylor, it's always a pleasure. Uh, and also, happy 75th birthday. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Every single night. We've got some of the top black experts. You're not going to see them on cable news or broadcast news because you swear black people aren't experts when it comes to this health crisis. That's why we have this show and why we do what we do every day on Roland Martin Unfiltered. Joining us right now is retired General Russell Honoré, the nation's first black surgeon general, Dr. Joycelyn Elders, John Hope Bryant, he is the founder of Operation Hope, Senator Kamala Harris of California, Dr. Sadrina Calder, retired General Lloyd Austin, Congresswoman Karen Bass, Commissioner Omari Hardick, Bureau President in Brooklyn, Eric Adams, Dr. Joseph Graves, America's Wealth Coach, Deborah Owens, Dr. Corey A. Bear, Patel Salt. Uh, Howard University student, Pastor Jamal Bryant, a uh, doctor, uh, Christy McDowell, Benja Ajilore, senior economist at the Center for American Progress, Gilda Daniels, again, author of the book, The Crisis of Voter Suppression in America. Four stars, uh, General Kip Ward, Dr. Oliver Brooks, is president of the National Medical Association, president of the American Medical Association, Dr. Patrice Harris, Joby Benjamin, Dr. Alexia Gaffney, infectious disease specialist, Dr. George is Benjamin, uh, executive director of the American, American Public Health Association, Malcolm Nance, family medicine physician Dr. Jen Caudle, Dr. Tashaka Cunningham, a molecular biologist, Kat Stafford. She's a national race and ethnicity reporter for the Associated Press. Dr. Wayne A.R. Frederick, uh, who is the president of Howard 
University, Congresswoman Yvette Clark uh, from the state of New York. William Spring, AFL-CIO economist. Uh, Andrea James, executive director of the National Council for Incarcerated and Formerly Incarcerated Women and Girls. All right, let's go to Capitol Hill. Congressman Gregory Meeks, Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson of Texas, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, Minnesota Senator Amy Klobuchar, mental health clinician Jamie Singletary, Prince George's County State's Attorney Aisha Brayboy, as well as Dylan uh, Harry, ACLU Justice Division strategist. Uh, Dr. Cindy Duke, uh, she is a virologist, Principal Steve Perry of Capitol Prep. Health and wellness specialist Dr. Yolandra Hancock, Desmond Mead, President of the Florida Rights Restoration Coalition, Cliff Albright, who is the co founder of Black Voters Matter, Michael Harriet with the group, the Mina McWhorter, founder of Love by the Hand, Dr. Julian Malvo, economist, president, and mayor of Bennett College, coroner Michael Fowler, is the mayor of Atlanta, Keisha Lance Bottoms, mental health therapist, Suzette Clark, is Justin Gibney, attorney and political strategist, and Bishop Vincent Matthews Jr., Dr. Suzette McKinney, CEO and executive director of the Illinois Medical District, Dr. Leon Madugo, president elect of the National Medical Association, Jana Bailey, Mayor of Moss Point, uh, Mississippi, uh, Mario King. We're going to keep driving this thing to make sure our people are fully aware, safe, protected from coronavirus. You get the top medical experts, the top business experts, top political experts, top religious experts, because that's why we do what we do unapologetically and unfiltered. Ain't nobody else in the black media space doing what we do. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.